Righty A, so there's a bit of a unfortunate, uh, unexpected twist to this hunt that's made us have to cut it short. So stick around to find out what's what's happened. Massive shout out to all my patrons. Thank you very much. Love your work. Hope you're enjoying the content. Now, if you're one of the six and a half thousand other subscribers that hasn't jumped on board yet, please go and check it out. There's some really good things happening over there. And the bigger I can grow that, the better this channel can get. Um, now, I, I realise there's no chance of getting all 7,000 of my subbies over to Patreon, but if I can get a big percentage of you over there, it's going to do amazing things for this channel. And it could, may, it could mean that uh, you guys could be responsible for one of the first hunting channels in, in Australia, and especially definitely one of the first deer hunting channels to be able to go full-time. Um, for me, uh, YouTube revenue is just not a thing. Uh, my, my channel doesn't get enough views. There's no money in it. Um, but where there's real support is Patreon. Um, and the best thing with Patreon is you guys get to uh, direct the channel to, to where it's going. There's a lot of feedback from patrons. And uh, there's a lot of extra stuff there. It's not just video. So there's, there's also uh, podcasts and competitions and... Um, and, and the next two competitions are pretty exciting. I've got a custom r and Blades helium knife with my logo on it coming up. And even even wilder again is uh, Laura throwing up a pair of Ranger GTX boots in your size. So there's a lot of incentive there to jump over. It doesn't cost a lot. And um, it really does support the channel to the point where it can grow to something that was never imagined before. Um, so if you can, if you can be generous, jump over, check it out, and, and make a pledge if you can. There's uh, several different support levels there, all the way up to a mentoring level, which is um, being very well utilized by quite a number of people. Uh, I've got some great success stories there. One young bloke's knocked over three stags since he's been mentored by me. Um, and yeah, there's several other guys there that have managed to get deer on the deck as well. So jump over check it out see see if it's your thing if it's not fair enough there's no pressure um but from from the subby point of view i'd love it if you guys that are regular watchers to jump over there jump on board and see if we can yeah, uh, get this channel to just grow into something real special and something that you guys can be proud of yourselves because there's there's basically no way i can bankroll this myself uh to it you know i need to have income i can't bankroll it otherwise it's just a cost um it, it needs to make money um and but if it does do that it, it will turn into something pretty special like i've got some really big ideas but i need the support to do it so if you guys are out there watching the channel and you're thinking hey he's not a bad bloke give it a crack jump over to patreon and uh let's just see where we can get it to go Yes, yeah, so I've got two really big supporters of the channel over on Patreon. First one being the Hunting Club. Uh, so if you don't know anything about the Hunting Club, jump over. There'll be a link in the description. Basically, it's a, it's a great club, a hunting club. Uh, it's a reason to own a firearm in some states. It gives you public liability. There's great hunt giveaways and product giveaways. There's a, a forum very similar to um, Facebook on there. But it's a closed forum, it's all hunters, there's none of the antis on there. Go check them out, jump in the description now. It's only 120 bucks for an annual um, membership and uh, there's some really great benefits there. Yeah, the other guys are um, Master Plumbing Services based in Melbourne. They specialise in CCTV uh, inspections, but they'll do all your uh, plumbing services as well. So if you are in need of a plumber in the Melbourne area, jump over into my description. There'll be a phone number there to call. Help these guys out because they're, they're supporting a hunting channel that you guys are enjoying and uh, they're hunters themselves. So keep it in the community. It'd be a really good thing. All right, over here at my usual derobing flat which most people realize once they get moving that they've got too many layers on it's only six degrees when we left the ute but believe it or not once you get moving the old body starts wanting to sweat but yep we're uh 
we've got some good weather ahead of us, uh, some mild weather I should say. Um, got a little bit of wind today and we got a little bit of wind on the last day but in between we've got some a couple of good days of uh, quite mild weather and uh, the wattles are out blooming, the scrapes are busy, the stag should be on hinds so hopefully we can uh, get amongst it and uh, Brett can put a hole in something worth taking home. Hope so. So you recognise Brett from last year and uh, yeah, repeat customer which is good, it's good for business and uh, yeah, it's easy for me because I know I get along with him. Righto, camp's all set up. Sun's just dropped below the ridge, so all the shadows got nice and long. We're gonna get out for a bit of a look. Glass, see what's about. And um, it's very dry, which is unusual for this time of year. No snow bugger all up, up top. And anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what we find this afternoon. That is a stag, it's our little fella. That deer, I've just got him now, he's just popped out. And, oh, no, not down near the river. The one that I spotted out in that the big clear patch. It's just a little stag.
got mud on him. There's a little fella there. There's another one. So you can see the hind and calf. You can see the hind. Still there? Nah, it's got nothing big. I think it's a stag, eh? Yeah? No, no, it's not. There's got to be something here somewhere. Here's only a baby. 13 inch, maybe. Maybe it was just their ears. I'm not sure I saw it either. Yeah, it's a stag too. It's a stag from last night. We had a pretty productive morning, saw a bunch of deer in all different spots, but uh, no mature stags, a few, few um, babysitters looking after the hinds, and uh, yeah, that one mongrel that was sort of harassing that one hind there a little bit, but saw him late yesterday afternoon and figured that he was a bit of a mongrel. But yeah, so we're in the sun at the moment, but really hard to glass into the shady side. So you want to want to plan your uh, glassing sessions around which way the sun is. There'd be deer over there on the shady face, but it's really hard to see. But we've got to go get some water, and then we'll just see how we feel. We might slip across the river and have a look over there. We just bumped about four deer, come down to the river, 
pulled them out with a bit of a call. Big mangrove stag. Play out across the river. I just stood on the rocks. I got bred in position, but yeah, it took, took him a bit to see it. And, and then um, the stag had a tree covering the best part of his chest and neck and to see his head out one side and probably one or two ribs too far back. Probably should have shuffled around and angled it in, but I confused him a bit by saying it was a mongrel, so he didn't think it was worth shooting. I think it's the big boy from last year, Justin. Big layback antlers, big mature deer. Anyway, he lives to fight another day. It was a bit exciting, honking and charging off and rocks flying through the river. And... <sighs> anyway, a bit of fun. Yeah, we've only seen 21 deer this morning now. Anyway, it's that time of year.
Gonna show us that good fork you got there. <laughs> Improvised. Hehe, <laughs> I got mine. Just spent a couple of hours on the hill having a siesta. <coughs> Shadows are starting to get long, so we're up real high. We're going to contour through and use our height to look down into the country that we expect to see deer. It's going to hunt our way back to, to the river by dark, and then we'll be walking back up to camp in the dark, I reckon, today. Just sort of in this gap of the leaves in front of us.
Righto, the afternoon plan worked out except for no big stag come into those hinds. Now the same hinds from this morning. Got that same one antlet stag with them. Had them at 225 yards, so they're ours if we wanted them. We're just uh, making our way off the hill. That last bit of light across the river, get some water for camp and then trudge on up the hill. Maybe taken. Yeah, well, it's um it's late morning. You're probably wondering what I'm still doing in here. Uh, yeah, Brett sort of battled a bit of a stomach bug yesterday. He yelled out to me this morning that he'd had a rough night, so... Just had a bit of a sleep in. And we we're uh, going to pack up and get him, get him some help, so... Yeah, no good. Um, don't know what it was, he sort of seems to have brought it in. It happened sort of started on the first night real early in the morning so yeah poor bugger anyway so it's about eight o'clock I'm about sick of laying here so I'm gonna start packing up in a minute and make our way out So I, um, I had a shout out for a young bloke the other day and um, someone else that uh, messaged me saying, was that for me? And I'm like, no, sorry. And uh, But anyway, Darcy Newman, this one's for you. Uh, thanks for your support over on Patreon and I hope you're enjoying the content.